Is this the best waterfall in Laos? It might just be the best one we have seen in life so far and in this video, we'll take you on a ride through the raw and beautiful countryside of northern Laos with our new friends Ute and Bjorn. At the waterfalls, we saw a few bears and then we walked through the forest to reach paradise. And then we decided to go to the top of the waterfall. Little did we know how awesome the nature is up there. So if you are in Laos, you must not miss this waterfall at any cost. Sabaibi. We are Shashira and Nami. We left home in May 2022 to explore this world full time with two backpacks and a lot of curiosity. After exploring Thailand, Vietnam and Cambodia in the last few months, we came to this magical country, Laos. This month, we're exploring beautiful nature, visiting old temples, jumping into blue lagoons and waterfalls, hiking up mind-blowing viewpoints, eating delicious street food, experiencing the local culture, riding on tuk-tuks and meeting wonderful people from around the world. And if you are wondering, is all this possible on a budget, you will definitely want to watch this series. So let's go! Sabaidi! From Today we are going to one of the most beautiful waterfalls here. It's called Kwan Si Waterfall. And we're taking you along. Let's go! That's our ride for the day. No, no, no. arrived. So we parked our bikes there and now we are walking there to buy our tickets. Oh, for Shishira it turned out to be a free ticket. <laughs> no, we have to pay. So look who we are with again. It's Ute and Bijor. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if you remember, they were in our Dawn Dead video. So we met them there and then uh, we travelled to different parts of Laos on our own and again caught up here in Luang Prabang. So, uh, well, they've been on the road for nearly four years now and they've done some really crazy stuff. Like they've been telling us so many fun stories <laughs> from their uh, you know, experiences on the road. So, so today we are going to see Kuangsi Falls and right now we are on a buggy car. This was not there four years back. Basically parked the scooter and the waterfalls is just a few hundred meters from there but this time it's like a whole theme park yeah. and you have, to, you have to get on this electric buggy that takes you a couple of kilometers from the ticketing center to the waterfall so it's really changed so much. Last time when we came the waterfalls was all brown in color so hopefully this time it's the true color we can see. Yeah. Bina Mount Sabaya. This is the bear rescue center at the base of the Kuangsi waterfall. We saw a lot of Asiatic black bears here, rescued from poachers and illegal wildlife traders. They even have swings for the bears to play with. Look at that! 
So Kwangsi waterfalls is this really incredibly blue, turquoise blue, azure blue, whatever blue you call it, waterfall. And it comes alive as soon as the monsoon ends and it lasts this way for almost eight to nine months in the year. And this beautiful color is best described as a little piece of sky that's in the water itself. And it looks incredibly great when the sun is beaming on it. And it's only about 29 kilometers down south of Luang Prabang, so you can easily get here on a scooter ride or even in a private tuk-tuk, a shared tuk-tuk, a public van, pretty much anything that's moving on the road. And it hardly costs about 50,000 kip or so in the cheapest ride to get here. But once you're here, you'll easily get convinced that you must spend at least three to four hours enjoying in the various pools that are located all the way from below till the very top. And in a few moments, you will see exactly how beautiful this top level waterfall is. It's massive, it's beautiful. And all of these are just a trailer to what's about to come. Although each of these smaller falls are like 10 to 15 meters of a drop at most, the big one is nearly 50 meters tall. And if you're here during the monsoon season, you see it transform into a very, very scary and violent version with huge amounts of water just dropping down. But if you're here in the right season, which is after October or so, you will really get to enjoy this entire place in its most calm form. In fact, towards the early months of summer, when the water level reduces even further, you see an even more saturated color in the water because of lesser water but more limestone deposits floating around. So what makes this special is all of the limestone that changes the color of the water from just, you know, usual colorless reflective surfaces to a bright glowing blue. And that is because limestone sediments that get eroded from the top of the mountains, they flow into the pools and it has this beautiful color when the sun comes out. There's a little bridge where you can actually stand right in front of the waterfall and take some incredible selfies. And if you look down into the water, you'll see some incredible schools of fishes. And then as you look up, there's this amazing waterfall that's blowing so much of mist on your face. It's just too, too amazing to even describe in words. Just look at this. That's not even the best part. If you hike up in the backside, there is a small stairway that leads into the forest. And from there, you can trek to the very top of the waterfall. And up there, you can see some really amazing nature with hardly any people around. And you have these incredibly cool blue lagoons that you can even play in. Well, at least that's what we heard. So we decided to go check it out for ourselves. So big. Shishira leaf.
that was awesome. Now we're gonna go head down to the big pool again and then maybe play some more in that water. All set to go. Oh, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. 